Make sure you check out Strip Down this Wait week. Wait a minute. Rapid Ooh. tornado of questions. Ricasso! Coming all the way from the Queen City. This week, Strip Down goes green. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jiminy. The last Saskatchewan performance. He's stripping me down. All the way from Crake, Saskatchewan. Tommy John. He's Even. a friend of arms up. That's my case. There's the first shot of the night. Keep it going. Basically, Keep it. you're saying you're better than Sit me. Sit down and play your instruments. Jay Semp. They'll bring the party. All you got to do is show up. Are we still on the air? <laughs> You are watching Stripped Down, Saskatchewan's only one-hour local music showcase, the show that brings the venue to you in the comfort of your own living room. I'm your host, Curtis Anderson. I never thought I'd be saying this, but here we are. It is Stripped Down's 75th episode. We have done 75 hours of Stripped Down, four nominations, two awards. We're celebrating tonight in a big way. We're doing things country tonight on Stripped Down. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Krause and Gary Larson. She's a cold one a-coming And she's coming on fast Folks say it'll be a long one And I think it might last The coyotes are howling loud Out through the pines The grass is crunching underfoot while the full moon shines Saskatchewan winters They sure make us tough But when you're asking about the gold Well, it ain't enough We're loving where we're living And I know that to be true You can't say nothing about us Except true blue The bales are stacked, the crop is all in the bin The skates are all sharpened and the ice is near the end The scenery is changing from dead brown to white You can see the geese are flying and it just feels right Saskatchewan the winters, they sure make us tough When you're asking about the cold, well, it ain't enough we're loving where we're living, and I know that to be true. You can't say nothing about us except true blue. Now there's a warmer spots to be, and they're easy to find. You just jump on a plane to find a spot to unwind. But here we take great pride, we enjoy what it allows But we're sure watching for the spring, cause it's easier on the cows Saskatchewan winters, they sure make us tough But when you're asking about the gold, well, it ain't enough We're loving where we're living, and I know that to be true You can't say nothing about us except True blue. Saskatchewan winters, they sure make us tough. But when you're asking about the cold, well, it ain't enough. We're loving where we're living, and I know that to be true. You can't say nothing about us except. True blue, you can't say nothing about us except true blue. Larry Krause, Gary Larson in the Shaw TV studio tonight. You're watching Strip Down 75th episode. You guys are making it tough on me. Gary and Larry, come on. <laughs> I'm going to mix that up. We did that on purpose. <laughs> night. I already blew the intro once, which the people at home didn't see. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight on Strip Down, Larry Krause. Ah, Gary Larson, sorry. It was so good, too.
luckily we get to take a couple of runs at this. Welcome to Strip Down, you guys. Thank you very much. It's Thank great you. being here. It's been a while trying to get you on the show. Well, I think, yeah, we've been fooling around back and forth emailing for, what, about a year or something like that? And, it's uh, nice to have an actual fan of Strip Down on the show, because you watch <laughs> regularly, right? The five, oh, look at that. The five dropped off already of the 75. It's cursed. Yeah. Let's keep going. 75th episode, not the seventh. <laughs> well, we, we knew what was there and we were impressed when exactly. we first saw it. So it, it's good. Yeah. See what happens when we try on Strip Down. <laughs> All right, we got some country musicians in Strip Down tonight. Very rarely we have country musicians. This is kind of cool. Well, that's what I noticed, and that was actually one of the reasons that I got a hold of you, is just to give a little broader idea to folks of some of the music that is not only just in the Saskatoon area, but around the province. And uh, there's there's a lot of good entertainment out there, and you po you folks have showcased a lot of it, and I'm just proud to be here and hopefully be a part of that too. All right, you brought along Mr. <coughs> Gary Larson. Not the guy that writes the far side. No, it's not. Okay. No. <laughs> exactly. And not the only Gary Larson in Prince Albert as well. No, there isn't. There's another couple of Gary Larsons around someplace. And That's I know for, incredible. For fact. So, yeah, there is a lot of us around actually in North America. I checked on the website the other day and it's like, ooh. So have you spent They're your everywhere. life? <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> have you spent your life explaining how you're not the... Yes, yeah, I that have. must probably be grading by now. And I love the comics and the cartoons and I love the far side. It's great. Nice. <laughs> well, the, the five falling off right at the top of the show is really disconcerting. But the other ones are really hanging there on we tight. Go. So We'll just try not to <coughs> shoot the one that's right behind me. I'll fix that during commercial break. Thoughts? Strip down 75th episode. It's a milestone night. Are you feeling good? Yeah. Yeah, I'm really pleased to be a part of what is a milestone for Strip Down. It uh, is. Th this is incredible work on your guys. I've been watching how you've been setting up and all the people that have been working and everything that goes on behind the scenes in order to make something like this happen. And... Uh, you know, you, you can tell this isn't just a bunch of people who showed up for work and, well, we've got to make another one. This is a bunch of people that really enjoy what they're doing and are really proud of the end product, and it's been great. I'm glad that comes across on TV. I can't thank the volunteers enough. And it's funny because for the 75th episode, it was like, are we going to have a big party? And I kind of went the other way for the volunteers. I thought, you know what, let's give the three original volunteers who are still with the show the night off. So it's like returning a page tonight. This is the first episode we've ever done without Jennifer Juba, Adan Lamousse, and Bryn Kreisa. So it's like a new wave of folks in tonight. <laughs> They're coming back. I just thought I'd, you know, they work so hard week in and week out. They've never missed an episode. I said, take the night off. So here we are. What are we going to hear tonight? Actually, you're going to keep going with a bunch of original Western songs that I've written. And okay. uh, the first one, there was a song called True Blue. It's a title track off the first CD that I came out with back in 2004. All right. And uh, a lot of original Western kind of songs on there. Later on, I'm going to do another uh, a song that came off the second CD that I released, which is a country gospel CD that came out in 2006. And I'm also going to give you a hint, uh, some of the stuff that's on the CD that's going to be hitting the ground and running this spring. So. We have lots to talk about with Larry and Gary. <coughs> going to hit that all night. So <laughs> why don't we do this? I'm going to fix the five, seriously. I'm going to fix the five. Let's jump into another song. And uh, yeah, I guess you guys can take it away. Okay, this song that I'm going to do now is, uh, it was actually listed and rated as the number seven most requested song by one of the radio broadcasting networks in Saskatchewan. So I was kind of pleased about that. A little bit autobiographical, the song is called Hit the Key and Go. Take it away. One, two, three, four, <clears throat> one. I come from a long line of cowboys Uncles that ever rode the range, cousins in the rodeo Now I am a cattleman and of that I am proud but when it comes to checking cows, I'd rather hit the key and go. But it's not that I mind horses or that I cannot ride. I've done that stuff a time or two, and now I'm satisfied. Just give me my old pickup truck and let that heater blow. Because when it comes to chore time, I'd rather hit the key and go. Some good friends of mine are cowboys They find themselves a working hard Till the sun goes down And I sure can't find fault with The way they get things done But if horses are worse than doggone good Why'd they bring the truck to town? But it's 
not that I mind horses or that I cannot ride. I've done that stuff a time or two, and now I'm satisfied. Just give me my old pickup truck and let that heater blow. Cause when it comes to checking cows, I'd rather hit the key and go. said it's not that I mind horses or that I cannot ride. I've done that stuff a time or two, and now I'm satisfied. Just give me my old pickup truck and let that heater blow. Cause when it comes to chore time, I'd rather hit the key and go. Yep, but when it comes to checking cows, I'd rather hit the key and go. There, I fixed it. <laughs> well, that looks good. Larry That's Krause awesome. and Gary Larson in the Shaw TV studio tonight. I stapled it. Well, I saw oh. that you were working on that back there. <laughs> yeah. I'm usually cramming for my next uh, segment of questions, but this time I was cutting and pasting. It's kind of fun. It was oh, yeah. like craft night. <laughs> did, did good. Did real good. Hey. People, people wondered why we didn't attempt a balloon drop tonight. If I can't <laughs> tape the number seven and five onto something, I'm way out of my league. We got to gear up for our first commercial break, but really quick, what was that last song? That long last song was called Hit the Key and Go. Okay. And uh, what it is, is like I said, a little bit autobiographical. I've, you know, a lot of people in my family were ranchers and cowboys and, and still are. And uh, it's just kind of a natural tendency for me to work with cattle and do that type of thing, which we did for a lot of years. So, All right, we have lots to learn about Larry and Gary tonight on Strip Down. But it is episode 75, so I put together a few little packages here to uh, segue into the commercial breaks. We're going to go all the way back in time, all the way to the beginning. We're going to take a look real quick at episode 1, way back in March of 2008. First person on Strip Down was a young man named Chris Brinklow. Let's roll the clip. This is it. I am Curtis Anderson, and you are watching Stripped Down, Saskatchewan's one hour local music showcase. Each and every week, we'll be bringing a different Saskatchewan band right here into the Shaw Studios where they'll perform a live Stripped Down version of their set. All right, uh, this song is uh, called My Life is Good. It was inspired by my son and also Britney Spears. What's the connection there? Um, <laughs> I'm just happy you're not her, basically. I'm just happy I'm not Britney Spears. Look at my baby boy. Oh, my pride and joy. And every time he smiles, Makes it all worthwhile, yeah. My life is good. Look at my. Don't go anywhere, more stripped down after the break. Mother's Music provides a wide range of instruments 617 8th Street East, Saskatoon. Operating for 17 years with music lessons, equipment sales, and rentals. Mother's Music, www.mothersmusic.com. Ultimo Yurimoto Men's Clothing Store. Denim, footwear, leather jackets, sportswear. 204 3rd Avenue South, Saskatoon. Call 664-6640. Escape sports gear and equipment for longboarding, freeline skating, kiteboarding, unicycling, extra cycling, dirt surfing, and mountain boarding. For more information on sales and rentals, www.escapesports.ca. Larry Krause and Gary Larson in the Shaw TV studio tonight. This is it, episode 75. 
I'm more relaxed now. <laughs> Seriously. If you weren't watching the first segment, about 30 seconds in, the, the 75 I spent all afternoon making <laughs> collapsed. Are you guys having a good time? Yes, we definitely are. All this right, is great. We've, we've got a flow now. Oh, yeah. yeah. We have a song coming up that's much like Strip Down. It's won an award mm -hmm. as part of a bigger compilation. Yeah, actually it did. Uh, I did a, a gospel CD back in 2006 and uh, had the good fortune of it uh, receiving the award for Gospel Album of the Year from Saskatchewan Country Music Association. So, uh, very pleased with that. And I'm going to do one of the songs off of that now, one that I wrote. And um, I guess just a little bit of story about this. When I got off a of graveyard shift one morning, about 7 o'clock in the morning, and had this thing rolling around in my head, and like, um, like songwriters, everybody has things that work a little bit different for mm -hmm. them. And just the way this one was, like, I've got to get this down on paper, get it out of my system, because I need to sleep. <laughs> That's and good. Uh, you know, rattle it down on paper, and actually, it didn't even change that much when it hit the light of day. It, it turned out not too bad. So, um. when I was formulating the show back, what seventy six weeks ago, I guess a couple <laughs> years ago, I always thought that was going to be like my killer <clears throat> question, like tell me about the writing process. And I thought I'd have all these great stories about how people would like, you know, they had to wear their favorite purple hat and go to like, you know, a Starbucks <laughs> and they'd write on a napkin or on like the wall or something. And I don't think we've had a single. Like, incredible writing stories. Those those good. Well, th this one ended up on the back of an envelope. See, that's and, that's what I want to hear. Uh, that's the stories I want to hear. A, a couple of them have. Some of them happened out in the shop, you know, working in the shop. I said, oh, hey, there's an idea. Oh. And you jot it down, and next thing you know. And, and some turn out to go, and, like, we actually take them to town and see if they'll fly. And, and some, like, that's they stay in the shop. But uh, <laughs> sometimes we get, so, you know, tell me about the writing process. And then these people say... Ah, uh, you know, I, I don't have a job, so I was just playing Xbox, and the song came to me, and it's like, <laughs> tumbleweed oh, no. goes through here. I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> One, two, three. Do you know where you'll see the Lord today? Do you know where you'll see His glory fade? How your day is gonna be, but you know that you will live it by God's grace. We make all these important plans, we're busy all the time. Each and every waking hour, we're out there on the line. We think that we're important and that we're in control. When it comes right down to it, who's gonna get your soul? Do you know? Where you'll see the Lord today, do you know? Where you'll see His glory face, do you know? How your day is gonna be, but you know that you will live it by God's grace. There's more to life than running around trying to get things done. The day will come for all of us when we see that setting sun. As for me, I want to be outstanding on that shore. I found out here in this life there is something more. Do you know where you'll see the Lord today? Do you know where you'll see His glory face? Do you know how your day is going to be? But you know that you will live it by God's grace. see the Lord today, do you know, where you'll see His glory face, do you know, how your day is going to be, but you know, that you will live it by God's grace, do you know, how your day is going to be, but you know, that you will live it by God's grace. Larry Krause alongside Gary Larson. This is Strip Down's 75th episode, and that song you just finished playing once again. 
from an award-winning album. Yep. And that was your second album you put out? That was the second album. It's called The Gate Is Open. So and one in uh, 2004, one in 2007, is that correct? 2006, it came out with it, yeah. And uh, one that's going to be coming out this spring. And uh, next song that we're going to do is uh, one of the songs that's off of that album. Uh, it's been something that I've been working on now. I think we were first in studio a little over a year ago. Yeah. And... Uh, Lay down some initial tracks, some of the songs I wasn't terribly happy with, and um, just a matter of not having enough time and to really do it the way that I wanted it. And uh, well, let's take a little bit of time, make sure that we come out with what we want to have. And uh, I think we're to that point now. We're laying on, laying down all the tracks now, and I'm really liking what we're coming out with. So uh, very optimistic, going to have it out in May, and, and away we go. You're awesome. I don't even need to be here. You can, just, <laughs> you can just talk to the camera in between songs. And I can go have some coffee. So you want to you keep going with music then? You had, you had like set 14 songs aside for tonight. <laughs> and I think the record we've ever done is nine. So if you want to keep playing, that's that's cool. Well, we can do that. We can talk a little bit too. This is working I out just great. I want to get to know you guys because so. apparently there was a band and now there's not really a band. You're kind of scaling it down to a duo or... Well, we basically, we, we kind of adjust ourselves to whatever the, the need is. I do travel with a, a three-piece band. Gary okay. is the lead guitar player, mandolin, dobro, banjo, banjo basically anything <laughs> on Jack of all with trades. strings. Yeah, pretty near. Cooks, pumps the gas. Just about. Close. And, yeah. uh, Check the air in the tires. And then I've got, uh, of course, a bass player. And the uh, bass player, it's actually very convenient, works out very handy, and... Uh, very fortunate to be able to work together with him. He also operates a recording studio that I work out of down in St. Louis, Riverbend Sound. That's not too and, bad. That's uh, a good friend to have. Yes, yeah. very much, and and does excellent work. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, of course, Dave Sinclair, he's my bass player. And right now I'm working with a fellow out of Prince Albert, uh, fiddle player and uh, mandolin player as well, Dean Bernier. And uh, so we've done a few shows. Actually, we did a show last summer in Saskatchewan. In, or in Saskatchewan, in Saskatoon, in conjunction with that uh, Mennonite Central Committee sale that they have here, we were on stage for that. And uh, no, it's it's nice to get out with the full band and deliver the mm -hmm. full sound. But on the same token, reality dictates that a lot of smaller towns and a lot of smaller places, you're not going to be getting the numbers out to justify those kinds of things. And then we just slide right in with a duet. And uh, in my mind, it works great. Gary is just great to travel with and fills in all the gaps where I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing. And um, it makes for a good combination. Very versatile. Very much so. Are you guys Saskatoon boys or area? Huh, originally from Rostern. Okay. And uh, living north of Prince Albert right now, about a half hour north up around Christopher Lake in that area. So there's kind of a nice spot to be anyhow. Yeah. And uh, where are you from originally? Uh, I guess you're well, supposed to ask that question. Actually, Weldon, Saskatchewan. <laughs> Once again, I can go have some coffee. <laughs> uh, Weldon, Saskatchewan, small town, just about uh, 45 minutes, 40 minutes east of Prince Albert. You know, it's just right along number three highway going to Melfort, the big place. So it's just there. See, I squeezed some facts out of you guys because you were going to go right into the next song. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, breaks. <coughs> hey, you're kicking balloons. This is oh, good. Hey, Do you hey. like how we decorated the set? We had numbers that fall down, some silver balloons. Well, those can't fall down much more than what they are. <laughs> and they're, they're laying flat. They're doing good for you. But. All right. Let's go back in time <coughs> and... Tell us about the next song again real quick. Recap. Next song, next song that we're going to do is off of the new CD. And the new CD, I can already tell you what it's called. It's called Northern Range. And uh, very, very excited about the prospects. Mm -hmm. Of course, everybody's excited. You know, nobody's going to sit here and say, you know, this thing is going to be a dud. <laughs> but uh, we're really excited about the prospects. It's good Western music coming out. And uh, a lot of the songs that are on it, we've been doing in our shows now for a while with some really good response. And so it's, it's time to get it down. So the song that we're going to do now is called Shortest Day of the Year and uh, basically it kind of tells a rural story about people that are, <laughs> you know, fighting with weather and stuff. Same as what goes on in the province every day. So All right. One, like two, this. three, four, one. <laughs> The promise of the harvest fell way short of what we needed. We're not sure why we've got all those old cows. But the pressure's really building up right here in the kitchen. And the way it's headed, we just can't allow. That old north wind's howling through the bullpen. 
That early snow wasn't welcome, but it sure here. The barn was tipping back just a little too often. And we haven't reached the shortest day of the year. We haven't hit the shortest day of the year. Got to dig deep to recall what really matters Find the things that make us who we really are Take the time to reflect on those good times Cause they were good and they weren't that sparse That old north wind's howling through the bullpen That early snow wasn't welcome but it sure here the bottle's tipping back just a little too often And we haven't reached the shortest day of the year We haven't hit the shortest day of the year Now winter's always been tough on us, darling with the extra work we do to see things through And it's a way too soon to be doing all of this snarling Let's fix this thing right now, just me and you so That a north wind's howling through the bullpen That early snow wasn't welcome, but it sure here That old bottle's tipping back just a little too often And we haven't reached Shortest day of the year We haven't hit the shortest day of the year We haven't reached the shortest day of the year We haven't hit the shortest day of the year Larry Krause and Gary Larson helping us celebrate Strip Down's 75th episode. We're flying through time. We're already almost half done. We have to gear up for our second commercial break. But before we do that, I want you to tell the story that you told me before we started <laughs> rolling. This may be the best Strip Down story ever. This is a great story for the 75th episode. Well, we've got, um, of course, my family and people that I know they are excited about the prospect that I'm going to be on TV. And I am too. Like, you know, let's face it, this is kind of neat. And, so anyways, I um, phoned out to my mother who's living out in Rostron and is probably going to be wondering, oh, what's she, what's she going to say about me now? But, uh, <laughs> and uh, mentioned that we were going to be on this show. And well, she's 83 years old and got pretty good computer savvy. Like, it's no big deal for her to get onto the internet and track things down. So what she ended up doing was searching uh, Strip Down. Oh. <laughs> I. And afterwards, we get a little bit of a phone call there. And, well, I'm not really sure I want you to be on a show like that. And so we had to have, like, a bit of a discussion there. Like, no, this is like Shaw TV does this up, and it's in a studio, and it's good music and, and all of that. And so I think so, she was kind of wondering what I was getting myself into there. 83 years old, Googled stripped down, <laughs> and this show wasn't the first thing that popped up. That's, that's kind I'm, of I'm guessing it wasn't, yeah. There's probably like four kajillion hits <laughs> for stripped down. you got to love the internet. All right. During the first commercial break, right before, we took a look back at episode number one mm -hmm. with Chris Brinklow. For this commercial break, we're going to... Go back to episode 25, we're hitting the milestones. It was a birthday episode, it was my birthday. I also share my birthday with a crew member, Laura Churchman, who's in Australia right now. This was a good time. And you, you, you were laughing about the five falling off before. We tried to have a balloon drop for our birthday. Well, we'll roll clip, we'll see what happens. <laughs> it's enormous, it's gigantic. It is episode 25. In the history of Strip Down, it's my birthday, it's crew member Laura Churchman's birthday, and we got Efren Pereira. Give me some highlights <laughs> from the man who does audio a foot from the, <laughs> the artists each and every week here on Strip Down. First of all, is it tough when you're that close to the artist? Because I mean, 
How do you tell what's in the headset and what's, uh, you know, live? Well, nothing's really tough for me, Curtis. No. Happy birthday to oh! you! <laughs> Oh, crack that over this way. <laughs> we have to run. <laughs> oh, how wow. This old glass heart of mine has crumbled off the shelf. I don't need anyone. I'll pick the pieces up myself. It's such a shame how it cuts me to the bone. Next time, I'll build a heart of stone. More strip down after this, 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 this. Ah, that was a big echo. Escape sports gear and equipment for longboarding, freeline skating, kiteboarding, unicycling, extra cycling, dirt surfing, and mountain boarding. For more information on sales and rentals, www.escapesports.ca. Tune in to Remote Control Cinema every Wednesday and Friday as host Simon Hyatt reviews the newest movies to hit Shaw On Demand. Plus, classics you may have missed the first time. Remote Control Cinema, only on Shaw. Mother's Music provides a wide range of instruments. 617 8th Street East, Saskatoon. Operating for 17 years with music lessons, equipment sales, and rentals. Mother's Music, www.mothersmusic.com. You're watching Strip Down 75th episode, Larry Krause, Gary Larson. See, I still haven't mixed it up. Larry and Gary. It's a tongue twister. <laughs> I have to say it every three minutes. This is episode 75. It is a historic night here on Strip Down. Thank you guys again for coming out. I want to hear about you two. How did you guys, like, get together musically? How did, because uh, it seems like, I don't want to say he's the backbone of the band, but in all your stories so far, he's been there, so. Well, I guess it all... Ended up starting off with uh, Prince Albert Country Music Association. Yeah. I moved up into the area up there and uh, started singing at a little show called uh, Paddock Wood West Country Music Show. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and uh, I'm not sure whether you were there as a player or whether you were a spectator, but people that were involved with that, Gary knew, and one thing and the other, we started going to these PACMA meetings and networking, and all of a sudden, you know, I, I'm going to do a showcase for the Saskatchewan Country Music Awards and I need a band and so I started asking around like anybody interested in playing and uh, well, that was back 2004 like <laughs> and uh, we've been basically six years we've been running together so. And your band was called? Timberline. Timberline. Yeah. Explain. Timberline? Timberline. Timberline. Like in the edge of trees that kind of a thing. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I've explained that to me. I've lived in the city I, my whole life. You know, it, it just, uh, I guess maybe it comes out of an Ian Tyson song that uh, one that I do on my shows, it talks about the Timberline. Okay. And uh, that's just kind of where it fell out from. And uh, it was different. And okay, let's try it that way. And uh, it stuck, and nobody else has it. <laughs> so it, it works out okay. So. Again, we don't, for whatever reason, country music musicians haven't really embraced Strip Down. I don't get a lot of requests from country music musicians to come on the show. How big is the country music scene in Saskatchewan? Like, it's huge. It is. And, They're just uh, shunning me, I guess. <laughs> I, I'm not sure whether, I, I can't, you know, for the treatment that I've gotten mm. and the reception and all, I can't see why everybody isn't lined up at the door to come <laughs> onto the show. Like, this is great. But, uh, no, the country music scene in Saskatchewan is very much alive and well. Mm -hmm. um, and, and at all kinds of different levels, right from, you know, some of the highest levels, you know, that they've been taking it. Like I know a friend of mine, Donnie Pronto, is just on his way back from playing the at the Olympics. Yes. So, uh, you know, and that, that's Saskatchewan very well represented. Uh, guys in Saskatoon here, like you know, Cal Hurd. Yeah, uh, we've had Cody Prevo. Cody yeah, Prevo. Yeah, actually, Cody, that was years ago, he was all by himself. And uh, he wanted to do a couple of songs at a show, and so he used Timberline as the backup band. Nice. Like, that's yeah. one of those way back oh. stories. We get but, around. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Looking but, back, Gary, it's been good times playing along side this guy here. Well, it's really great to play with, uh, actually, a really great singer like Larry and a great guy. So I've enjoyed it, and uh, we just fell into it from that one showcase, and it blossomed from there. And 
we went out and uh, it's like Larry said we went out and did a lot of small venues where we've done like a lot of gospel Larry does a lot of gospel shows mm -hmm. and a lot of stuff like that too and a lot of fundraisers which we just go out and do and it's great doing having both sides of the coin where you can do this that whatever it's great I like how we're getting the entire discography tonight too. The <laughs> old, the kind of present, and the new. Mm -hmm. So, where are we heading next? I'm actually going to do a song for you now called Cowboy's Wish. Yep. And I guess it's the closest, closest thing to the title track off of Northern Range as, as what any of the songs would be. And uh, the actual inspiration from it is a uh, uh, you know, fellow that I know. And he's quiet and kind of shy and... Uh, Is it about me? No, it's, it's not about <laughs> you. It, it might be, but I don't know you that well yet. But the, I've never uh, been described as quiet <laughs> and shy once in my life. So. <clears throat> but anyways, it, it talks about this young guy that would just like nothing better than to be in a relationship. But like he figures he doesn't have a hope just because. Uh, so that's the song Cowboys Wish. Take it away. Don't know why you'd look my way There ain't much here to see Just a dusty hat and faded jeans That's how I have to be But you light the room up with your smile Take my breath with every move I'm wishing that you'd notice me And we could be in love but if good things really come to pass, wishes did come true, I'd be riding on that northern range together with you. Your city charms flow easily, all the folks here know your face. Know that I can't offer you half what they can in this place. I'm quiet and shy and I know my spot in the order of this world. And it breaks my heart to know that I can't have you for my girl. But if good things really come to pass, Wishes did come true I'd be riding on that northern range Together with you This little spread that I call my home With my horse and dog and cows It would not measure up for you You're used to all life allows And dreams of holding you at night Are all but lost in vain I'm just a cowboy from the hills You don't even know my name But if good things really come to pass Wishes did come true I'd be riding on that northern range together with you. I said if good things really come to pass, wishes did come true. I'd be riding on that northern range together with you. Larry Krause and Gary Larson, again, helping us celebrate Strip Down's 75th episode, a little country tonight. <laughs> so much fun. We never get to do country. <laughs> it's sounding great. You guys still having a good time? Oh, yeah. This is, this is excellent. Yeah, for sure. Other than Strip Down, some uh, career highlights. 
Oh, shoot. Um, that, was really, that was a really arrogant question to ask. <laughs> that was so arrogant. Dolphin. That's a good one. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of what's top this. And, no, it's... Uh, we've actually been to a lot of places and done yeah. a lot of stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, I kicked off the Sunday morning at Dolphin Country Fest last year and uh, flew out to Kamloops to play a Cowboy Festival last spring and just about everything that you can do in the middle or so it seems. I do a lot of cowboy festivals, uh, western gatherings, that type of a thing. Um, March you're heading down to Tabor to do another one, scheduled to go back out to BC again this year as well. So uh, I think all told right now I'm scheduled to make five swings into Alberta and then another one into BC. So it'll be a busy summer. I was going to ask that question I asked you before about the Saskatchewan country music scene. What's it like over in Alberta? Is it bigger? Is that why you're out there all the time? Actually, I end up down in southern Alberta in cowboy country, just mostly by the nature of the music. Oh. And uh, I've kind of tangled up with a bunch of the, the cowboy poetry people down there. And I keep getting invited back to, to venues and I keep going because I kind of enjoy it. And uh, so it's certainly, you know, we do a, a, lot of, a lot of shows all around Saskatchewan as well. It's not that I spend all my time out there. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, no, it's just, it's just kind of the nature of where wherever the style of music that I play is in demand, that's where you end up going. Fantastic. About to reconnect with your fans again with the third disc. How is it going to differ from the first two? You've hit me with a lot of information tonight about how sometimes it's a duo, sometimes you have a full band, maybe not so much anymore. Take a look at the third album. What can the fans expect? Third album is going to be a little higher produced than what some of the other ones have been. Okay. Not to say that like we don't have strings and horns and all that kind mm -hmm. of stuff going on. Uh, what we've tried to do in the first two is to replicate basically what we're doing on stage so that CD sounds the same as what mm -hmm. you'd hear. Uh, we're adding a few more instruments. Uh, I've got a, just a cracking good steel guitar player from Kindersley that's gonna be on the CD and a uh, banjo player friend of mine and there, there's going to be more instrumentation that um, that we haven't had in the past it's, it's going to make a, a fuller sound on the album all right yeah. well, we have to get to another song because coming out of this song we have a special guest <coughs> nothing to do with you guys it's a surprise guest okay <laughs> and then we'll come back from commercial break and uh we'll wrap up with you guys Sounds so good. sixth song of the night sixth song of the night old kind of old or up and coming? No, th this one is off my first CD. Okay. And uh, I guess the inspiration for it, if you've ever been in that country south of Rosetown driving down to Swift Current, and that, that's kind of the area that we used to head down a lot to go. Well, I used to truck through there. And then we head down mule, mule deer hunting. I've, I've been on that highway for a lot. And uh, the one thing that always took me about that country there, other than the fact that there's spots there, I'm sure jackrabbits have to pack a lunch. Like, there's just <laughs> nothing out there. But... Uh, the whole nature of the way agriculture and farming and ranching and stuff has changed and the fact that there's so many vacant farms and empty barns and, and empty corrals. And that's basically the premise of, of where this song comes from. The song is called Empty Corrals. All right, take it away. One, two, three, four. <laughs> As I'm rolling down the highway, I see a lot of what's not there. The dreams that died very slowly, the feeling it's not fair. This old truck will run another ten hours for my day's work is done. I think back to the time years ago, work was over with a sudden. But then the price went south, the boys went west, and the old man is still just a standing there. You know it ain't just by word of mouth, empty corrals and broken dreams are hard to share. Empty corrals and broken dreams are hard to share. That old sliver of moon hanging in the sky 
don't make shadows on the ground. Night's about as dark as it can be. There's no yard lights to be found. And what used to be a town one day stands ghost-like in the dark. A bleak tribute to the folks that thought here was a place they could make their mark. But then the price went south, the boys went west, and the old man is still just a standing there. You know it ain't just by word of mouth, empty corrals and broken dreams are hard to share. Empty corrals and broken dreams are hard to share. The opportunities that await them there were too good to pass by. The promise of a better life was something they must try But their hearts will always be in the home they love to do But right now they're finding the living good And their heartaches nearly through And now when life goes on The boys are fine And the old man Understand. They found there's more to life than what they had. But empty corrals and broken dreams, they still stand. Empty corrals and broken dreams, they still stand. Empty corrals and broken dreams, here they stand. Here we are locking his camera off, making his first appearance as crew anyways. That was awesome. Dylan Evans, one of the co-frontmen of Pirate Fridays. How's it going, buddy? Oh, I'm doing well. How are you doing, Kurt? I'm doing awesome. Thanks for coming out tonight and operating a camera. Yeah. We're looking back because it's episode 75. You were part of episode 50. Yes, I Episode was. 50, I have to go on Guilty. record and say that was probably the greatest 90 minutes this studio has ever seen. It took me four months to get that show together to showcase Pirate Fridays. Really quick, Pirate Fridays has an important show coming up. You're raising money for show. Haiti? Yes, uh, uh, it's a Hall of Haiti show on March 6th. All the proceeds go to Red Cross. It's going to be great. A lot of talent uh, being uh, portrayed that night. And Pirate Fridays, of course, is playing? Yeah, we are, we, yes. We All right. Too. And speaking of Pirate Fridays, as I mentioned, we took a look back at episode one. We took a look back at episode 25. Here it is. We have to take our last commercial break. We'll come back with Larry and Gary, but it's time. Let's take a look back at the huge event that was episode 50 and Pirate Fridays. You want to yell roll tape? Roll tape. Stripped down the show where Saskatchewan musicians perform and then I speak the show that is saving local television three nights a week ladies and gentlemen Pirate Fridays
o'clock to get up and take a shower and pull up my old socks and I, I can't remember when the last time I ate was now it seems the groceries are just out of my class cause I spend my days working hard for my dollar and yet I ain't no starting to shine against a dollar but hey it's been this way for several years so I go on with life forget about my beers and throw it in say that I live in the ghetto sometimes it's just hard ain't the flowers and meadows I really can't complain cause I gotta be in take the bus to work it's a bit inconvenient and bro I don't appreciate the stairs on my feet just cause I ain't rocking the new Nike SP sometimes you gotta walk with whatever you got be something that I gotta have given me a lot just a couple of MCs with a couple of dreams working day to day lives get a couple of creams I hope you got this album for less than three I can't remember last time I paid for a CD the roots run deep in this family tree cause it's not about the money it's the music scene I guess an hour of life is worth a minimum wage but working dead end is like living in a cage so I stay in her with the dreams of the state Or I'm fucking heavy empty with a man named Mitch But the lyrics are subtle Not ripping through your ribcage It's hype that makes you stop You think it ain't gay Yo, I'm not trying to boast Brag, I'm the Mitch Those empty ball of cheese of Mark Love page, so I step back Relax with his knees and stretch cage Smoking this song And take it back to the Stone Age Couple MCs with a couple of dreams Work day to day Lives get a couple of creams I hope you got this album For less than three can not remember last time I paid for a CD the roots run deep in this family tree Cause it's not about the money, but the music you see It's not about the money, but the music you see It's not about the money, but the music you see It's not about the money, but the music you see It's not about the money, it's the music you see Stick around, more stripped down after the break. Ultimo Yurimoto Men's Clothing Store. Denim, footwear, leather jackets, sportswear. 204 3rd Avenue South, Saskatoon. Call 664-6640. Mother's Music provides a wide range of instruments. 617 8th Street East, Saskatoon. Operating for 17 years with music lessons, equipment sales, and rentals. Mother's Music, www.mothersmusic.com. Escape sports gear and equipment for longboarding, freeline skating, kiteboarding, unicycling, extra cycling, dirt surfing, and mountain boarding. For more information on sales and rentals, www.escapesports.ca. Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Krauss and Gary Larson. While I was out a riding, the graveyard shift at midnight till dawn. The moon was as bright as a reading light or letter. On an old friend back home And he asked me Why do you ride for your money And why do you rope for short pay You ain't getting nowhere And you're losing your share You must gone crazy out there You know he tells me hey, Last night I ran into Jenny She's married She has a good life and Boy you sure missed the track Why didn't you never come back Cause She's the perfect professional's wife he asked me why does he ride for his money And why does he rope for short pay He ain't a-getting nowhere And he's losing his share He must have gone crazy out there 
But they've never seen the northern lights They've never seen the hawk on the wing They've never seen spring hit the great divide They've never heard old Camp Cookie sing Well, I read up the last of my letter I tore off the stamp for Black Jim when Billy rode up to relieve me He just looked at my letter and he grinned And he asked me why do they ride for the money And why do they rope for short pay They ain't a getting nowhere and they're losing their share They all must be crazy out there But they've never seen the northern lights They've never seen the hawk on the wing They've never seen spring hit the great divide. They've never heard old Camp Cookie sing. But lay, oh, lay. Watch it strip down. We're wrapping things up with Larry Krause and Gary Larson. This was it. This was episode 75. It was a night of celebration. It was a night of looking back. And man, we burned through time. <laughs> We're pretty much out. Uh, real quick, their website people can go to track your progress, find out about the new disc. You betcha. There sure is. It's www.larrykrause.ca, and uh, that'll get you in there. And of course, on Facebook and all them other places too. So yeah. Uh, but uh, don't check on the website. You'll have. All kinds of information you can look at and keep track of what's happening. I had a good time. Everybody's giving me the rap. We're out of time. Okay. So I had a good time. Did you guys have a good time? Yep, absolutely. Wonderful. Thank you so much awesome. for spending the 75th episode of Strip Down with us. All the best in the future. Good luck. Play us out of here. I guess i got to do my rap, too. Thanks for watching. Thanks to tonight's cast and crew. Thanks to the sponsors, Mother's Music, Escape Sports, and Ultimo Euromoda. For all things Strip Down, hit the MySpace, myspace.com slash Strip Down Sask. We have pictures. We got a little bit of video. We got it all on there. For the last time tonight, Larry Krause and Gary Larson. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Spent my time in the rat race, watched towers touch the skies. The city spread another two blocks every time I closed my eyes. I've been longing for the Northland, the lakes, the streams, the pines. So I loaded up the truck of that day and headed back to the timber line. I feel the peace and contentment as I sit here in the sunshine And the glow that I'm feeling is better than any wine Some folks will live in the city and that's always gonna be But I'll take the timber line, it's a place I wanna be I 
want to be back where I came from. Thank God, not much change. The reasons that made me leave are now the reason that I'll stay. Knowing everyone you meet and seeing how's their day. His interviewing style is not the best. His personal appearance is not the best. Make sure you check out Strip Down this week. Wait a minute. Rapid tornado of questions. Ricasso! Coming all the way from the Queen City. This week, Strip Down goes green. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jiminy. The last Saskatchewan performance. He's stripping me down. All the way from Crake, Saskatchewan. Tommy John. He's a friend of arms up. That's my case. Here's the first shot of the night. Keep it going. Basically, Keep it. you're saying you're better than Sit me. Sit down and play your instruments. Jay Semple. They'll bring the party. All you got to do is show up. Are we still on the air? <laughs> You are watching Strip Down, Saskatchewan's only one-hour local music showcase, the award-winning show that brings the venue to you in the comfort of your own living room. I am your host, Curtis Anderson. We got an exciting 60 minutes of music tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, on Strip Down, Dick McInnes. The song is called Everything You've Heard About Love. Seventeen love was a matter of need I would have fallen in with anyone who would lie down with me I thought that I could spend a lifetime in the arms of that girl Until I realized the oceans of soulmates in this world That's when I started to see we were meant to be free But I learned how to love another From the words 